uh, youth unemployment is at a 15-year high in Victoria, with socially disadvantaged areas such as Hume being ranked ninth, Australia-wide as one of the most difficult areas to find work for young people between the ages of 15 to 24-year-old. The imminent closure of the Ford uh, motor, motor factory and, of course, Qantas continuing to lay off workers in recent times has further underscored the need to provide training and create job opportunities for our local young people. Uh, Deputy Speaker, I recently received correspondence from uh, Mr Fernando Iani, the principal of the Roxburgh Park Secondary College, which is the lead school in a trades training centre program uh, which includes Craigieburn Secondary School, Gladstone Park Secondary and Mount Ridley College, raising the school's grave concerns about the time it is taking to establish uh, or to get the Trades Training Centre uh, up and running. Uh, Deputy Speaker, it was only last year that uh, Mr Yani and I and and others were overjoyed that the then Labor government had allocated $4.5 million to build a trades training centre at Roxburgh Park Secondary College. Now, for my electorate, it meant that the much needed facility would provide essential educational programs for post 16 year old students wanting to follow a vocational pathway. The trades training centre was aimed at addressing skill shortages in traditional trades and emerging industries by equipping the college with the industry standard facilities it needed. It would deliver qualifications in order Automotive, electrotechnology, engineering, furnishing, and hospitality, and it would also address skill shortages in cabinet making, cooking, motor mechanics, sheet metal trades, and telecommunications. The Trades Training Centre is an absolute necessity, uh, Deputy Speaker, in an area where students face interrupted learning, low levels of literacy and numeracy, as well as having to provide for the needs of many who come from non-English speaking backgrounds. So it is to my dismay that I now learn that the Trades Training Centre is in danger of toppling over because of the time that it is taking for this government to deliver on the funding which was allocated in the 2013-2014 budget. Um, I've already written, um, Deputy Speaker, to the Federal Education Minister and to the Assistant Education Minister, and of course I await their response. Um, I just wanted to make the point that I think it's, outstand it's astounding for a government that has talked so much about freeing the system from red tape and indeed has allocated days in parliamentary sittings, weeks to abolish red tape. It's astonishing that they can, in this case, overlook how the slow wheels of bureaucracy are hampering the educational future of my local constituents. Um, Deputy Speaker, politics is interfering in my constituents' future prospects, and not in a positive way, I'm afraid. And because in rebadging the uh, Technical Trade Centre program as the Trade Skills Centre project and announcing an independent review of what the government calls a Labor initiative, the government is playing politics with my young people's future. Roxburgh Park Secondary College had already prepared a concept design and provided uh, quantity surveyor estimates, has met all documentation requirements. In fact, it's been left with the impression and expectation that the building process was going to commence in 2014 and that the Trades Training College would be open for the 2015 academic year. Instead, the principal informs me that they have not, and I quote, moved off the blocks, even though, and again I quote, our spikes are on. Now, Mr Yani says the, school, the schools have responded to several requests from the Department of Education to clarify some of the detail, but to date they are still unable to tender for the architect, and of course this is an appointment which needs to happen so that the college can move into the schematic design stage to gain a more accurate bearing on the building and the finances for the project. Now, Mr Yani says that the delay is setting the project further behind, and again it is the students, uh, I'm afraid, who are going to miss out. Uh, the college also faces having to compromise its planning for the 2015 academic timetable as they are uncertain of the outcome. So this continued uncertainty has now caused the building costs to alter and will ultimately result in the college not achieving what they intended to do uh, because of a shortage potentially of money. Now Mr Yani says by the time they are finally at the stage of turning the sod, material and labour costs will be higher and that that would have, uh, that, that would have been if, uh, if this had commenced, uh, the building had commenced in 2013 as originally planned. They're also concerned that the school's contribution to the project now has to be paid up front. And again, this is disappointing given that, there is, uh, that if there's any cost saving, the contribution should be directed to improving and adding more to the scope of the new facility. Order, the members, time